Good morning, YouTube. I just want to go over something here with you. Um, I'm going around the mountain with a uh, pastor, uh, Sam Adams, with this independent Baptist church. And um, he did a video, What Does the Bible Say? Sons of God and Fallen Angels. Versus Fallen Angels. And he's uh, he's of the opinion that uh, you know the sons of God were the sons of Seth, which wow. is not even close to biblical. Because how does a human being breeding with another human being create a giant? Okay, uh, so what I wanted to go over with you is an exchange that I've been having. Uh, with him and I keep pointing him to this video um, because of Michael Heiser because Michael is a Hebrew scholar and he's a PhD and he's up in all this and um, he's done a very very good job explaining all this but uh, this fellow Sam Adams is just not getting it so he um, Is made all kinds of accusations, you know, saying that I'm, you know, lamenting on things I've said. He's, he's uh, upset because my avatar, as you see here, uh, I don't have a shirt on because I live at the beach. I mean, come on, it's it's a headshot. I mean, but it bothers some people. That's just too bad because uh, you know I live at the beach. So uh, here's my reply to uh, Mr. Adams and um, the people that are following him. I said, uh, I happen to live at the beach, and I'm sorry that you feel that it's necessary uh, to wear a shirt at same, but regardless, what does a man not wearing a shirt have to do with the subject at hand? Maybe nothing at all. Next, you lie. As I, I lamented about absolutely nothing, and I maintained and continue to maintain my position. Please make a note of same. Also, uh, who are they that mingle their seed with the seed of men if they are not men mentioned in Daniel 2.43? Inquiring minds would like to know. Furthermore, you are a Christian deck stacker. Indeed, as you do quist, trist, uh, tri twist the word and make it say what you want it to say, you hide in our removed comments so that you can maintain the illusion of actually knowing what you're talking about to your misguided population. Case in point, you attack Steve Quayle without reason and or supportive evidence when I asked you, but when I asked you, if Tom Quayle, a pastor for many years, and Michael Heisner, a PhD and Hebrew scholar, which I also mentioned in the same post, fell into the same category, you removed and or hid my comment and failed to answer said question when you responded. Next, for your information, I rely on nothing but the King James Bible, though I will use another version for an explanation and or clarity if that version is in line with the King James. The same applies to the use of extra biblical texts. Again, it's got to be in, in line with the King James. Um, so get your facts straight, you liar, and stop twisting facts or try to, to support your position. Beyond that, it's God's pulpit and his earth that it sits on, you egomaniac. Just as it is his word that you are distorting so that you can lead others right into the same ditch that you are obviously in. Please do make a note of same. And again, I suggest that you watch Michael Heiser's video entitled, Michael Heiser, Angels Cohabitating with Women, uh, slash... Uh, Genesis 6 hybridization so you can learn something and stop your false teaching as Mike smokes your position like a cheap cigar and then hopefully you will learn 
excuse me, and hopefully you will stop leading people astray while hiding the truth. Repent as God is watching you. Now, I wanted to uh, mention something here, that this guy is hiding comments, and I, and I can prove it to you. And this is something that I've, I'm seeing more and more and more and more on YouTube, but I've made a video on it, and I guess it flushed him out. because He's a little bit upset about it. But if you see here, this, this uh, Spoken Night Ministries made a very, very polite, courteous post. He said, please, may I humbly ask you, can, how can you honestly teach this doctrine? Why, when in Genesis 19, there were two angels, again, there were two angels. Uh, that came down the street of Sodom and looked like men and ate at the feast of food like men and have homosexual men trying to have sex with them when Lot offers his virgin daughters. Also, please I ask you, why did you leave out Jude, Jude 1-7? So anyway, the bottom line is, is the 16 replies here on this thread by Spoken Night Ministries. Yet, if you look at it um, in another browser that, that uh, you know, you can see that uh, there's only 11 replies. So Mr. You know, Sam Adams, false teacher, preacher, stacking the deck, is hiding the truth from his congregation and uh, in regards to this. And so I'm calling him out, I'm exposing him, I hope as many of his uh, congregations see this as possible, because, um, you know, Genesis, you know, 6 is clear as day, it could not be any more clear. The earth had become corrupt. How, how did the earth become corrupt just by supposedly godly men having sex with ungodly women? I mean, isn't that kind of a sexist point of view? And how would a godly man having sex with an ungodly woman create a giant? So, um, if you look at Genesis 6, I mean, it says right here, clear as day, and God looked down on the earth, and behold, it was corrupt, for all flesh had become corrupt, corrupted his way on the earth. And God said to Noah, the end of all flesh has come before me, the earth is filled with violence, and through them I will... And behold, I will destroy the earth. But um, if you notice in, gen in verse 9, Noah was a just man and perfect in his ge generations. Perfect in his generations. That means his DNA had not yet been corrupted by all these fallen angels in Genesis 6 that were interbreeding uh, with human females. If you go back up here, the sons of God saw the daughters of men were fair and they took them wives of all they chose. The sons of God are the same ones that are... Uh, Job 1, 6. And uh, that were presented themselves to the Lord and Satan was among them. So, I mean, these guys are just stacking the deck. They're hiding the truth. And uh, as, a, as a result of this uh, marriage and interbreeding that uh, these fallen angels were doing with the human females, that's where it comes in here that there were giants uh, on the earth in those days. And also after that, when the sons of God came into the daughters of men and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men and uh, were of old men of renown. And God saw the wickedness of man was great upon the earth and that every imagination and thought of his heart was only evil continually. <coughs> so I'm just calling this Sam Adams guy out. Uh, hopefully... Um, the people that, uh, you know, have this guy as his uh, pastor, uh, they will see this video, pass this video around, because this guy does not want to contend for the faith. He wants to bury the truth, and uh, he wants to stack the deck based on what he feels Scripture says when Scripture is clear as day. And also note that Jesus in Matthew 24 states that in the end times it will be exactly what it, as it was in the days of Noah. Uh, what, what was happening, you know, the earth was corrupt, and uh, with all the UFO abductions, the so-called UFO abductions, which I feel are fallen angels and demons, uh, again, interbreeding with females, 
uh, you know, now we got hybridization, hybridization going on again. Uh, look at Matthew 13. You know, we got the wheat and the tares. You've got the seed of God, the wheat, and you've got the seed of the devil, which is the tares. And God said, let them grow among us. <coughs> Excuse me. Or grow together. And then at the end, he's going to send his uh, angels. And he's going to sort them all out. Because he was concerned that if they try to pull them out at that particular time, um, that they, it would actually damage the wheat. So... I mean, this is this teaching is clear as day for anybody that seeks the truth. But you've got guys like this that uh, are out there, you know, maintaining the lie. And you've got these terrors that are in the pulpits, and uh, they're also uh, in the governments, and there's all, they're also in the educational centers, and they're doing everything they can do to hide the truth. But you know, people keep digging up giant bones, and as soon as they do, they end up going going off to the Smithsonian, and you never hear. Of it again, so the information's coming out now, and uh, you've got guys like the Sam Adams doing everything he can to suppress it. So he's an enemy of God. He's an enemy of the truth, and that's just it. That's the hard, cold facts. And I just wanted to expose this, and uh, I'll be more than glad to to go around the mountain any day and all day. So you know that's what I do. So if I can help you guys in any way possible, let me know. But uh, please share this message, and because this is the kind of guy that uh, when it all goes down, they're trying to gather everybody up and stick them in FEMA camps. This is the guy's going. He's going to go. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, you know. The Bible says in Romans, you know, that you have to submit to the government and stuff. But hey, you know, so watch this guy. You know, you, you know, there's a bunch. Of, last count, there was twenty six thousand FEMA pastors. I wouldn't doubt if this guy's one of them. But um, so get your facts straight, folks, and, and, you know, be careful that because there's a lot of people standing in the pulpit just because they're in a pulpit don't mean they know the scriptures and don't mean they're speaking the truth. So, again, if I can help you any way possible, let me know. Love you. And uh, thanks for listening. And please share the video because we need to teach people. The time is short. It's getting, it's getting wild. This thing in the Middle East could go pop any time. And, um, you know, it's going to, it's going bad. I think we're going to be going down pretty soon economically worldwide. The Baltic dry index is, is near the bottom, bottom, bottom. It was over 12,000 a few years ago. And now it's like barely 300, if that. So we're going down folks. Time is short. Get it together. Wake your brothers and sisters up. Look up. Rejoice. Jesus is going to be coming, but it's going to get uh, a lot worse, I think, before he comes. If I can help you in any way, let me know. Thank you so much, though. Bye-bye.